Round 2, first half. Now then, Silverware, YUY, Shen L, Mugu coming out from free, and then we have two E, Miko, GW, seems like his Axeboy has been banned. Gotta respect that Axeboy though, able to get a tie in game one. Definitely should be able to aim for more in game two. Now then, from the Hunter side, it seems like we have Seer Priestess, Patient, Female Dancer, and Mechanic banned, alongside with a Antiquarian, Antiquarian Barmaid, Mercenary, and then Mumu will be the last pick right here. For this, it's probably better for you to get, let me see, if you want acrobat, acrobat wouldn't be bad. Yeah, acrobat in this map wouldn't be bad, or toy, or toy merchant. But the problem with toy merchant in this map is most likely the barmaid. I assume, I, yeah, it's most likely the barmaid. Who else would be very nice here? Weeping clown wouldn't be bad. Mm, you could also have entomologist who wouldn't be bad here as well because the there are quite a lot of tight corners for entomologist to allow her beast to go through so that hunter is going to be forced to hit the beast who else mm, if they want to aim for the titan and bomber but i'm assuming that the survivors definitely want to aim for more right now considering they are at a huge disadvantage currently but all in all this isn't too bad this still isn't too bad for the survivor considering they're like only two points behind so they can get a three man escape here and their hunter gets a tie that's all what it matters right now we do see that the mech man comes out right there mech will have to be respected mech will have to be respected mech is way too annoying to deal with and from miko gw side i'm not too sure what he'll be coming out with but with this survivor team comp in general you do bomb bomb we, this is just screaming bomb bomb you can't, this is screaming bomb onto me. I can't play Sculptor against anti current A uh, Sculptor against anti current is too annoying to deal with. Personally, I personally think it's too annoying to deal with. You can have bomb bomb, or you can try go for a wax artist here. Wax artist wouldn't be too bad. It's just a barmaid you can't chase for a wax artist in general. Now then, onto the hunter stage we go. Who'll be coming here from Miko GW side? I wonder. Paloon, as I was saying, Paloon wouldn't be too bad, except for the fact that if you want to chase after the Antiquarian, of course. But Paloon coming out probably would be better right now. Yeah, Paloon for game 2, it's not too bad, it's really not too bad, I stand. Paloon, there may be the Flywheel, but Flywheel has been nerfed once, and also, Flywheel doesn't come with Palace Speed Boost anymore, so it's better for Paloon to be played out here. But there's also one more problem with Paloon being played out. He did get an indirect nerf with the Vaulting Speed Buff from Survivor, so it's harder for the Paloon to land his spikes when he when when he wants to roll over survivors near windows then then into this game we go it seems like barmaid will be spawning in graveyard and our three survivors will be going on a straight line if paulum brought detention if paulum brought um not detention if paulum brought a uh, confined space for this one can immediately rotate into graveyard can immediately rotate into graveyard but the good news for paulum is he can just he can just one spike and then one hit the barmaid and barmaid can't do anything even if barmaid does heal back up it wouldn't do much because Paloon can just land one more spike and then another hit blink down maybe let's say. So for a barmaid, she gets she gets countered by Paloon really darn hard. Really really darn hard. We'll have to see the anti-current coming in for a lot of assists right now. As long as Paloon brought Mischievous, he, sh he shouldn't be too afraid. As long as Paloon brought Mischievous, he shouldn't be too afraid as well I would say for so myself. But yeah, this team comp in general is not bad, but it's just going against the partner. You need the anti current to play really darn hard with the assists overall and with the acrobat as well, honestly, with that rep ball. So yeah, Paloons nowadays in general will land two spikes instead of using ridicule on you and then snap you down. Maybe emotion and then try to bait out the flywheel. But overall, it isn't too bad. Overall, it isn't too bad. It'll most likely be an insolence Paloon for this one. But all in all, let's get into the game now then, shall we? This will be H... No, not HY. This will be 3 versus 2E for round 2, first half. Okay, ever sleeping town. Let's see. Spawning decides to immediately change towards wheel form right now. It doesn't seem like Miko GW wants to go into graveyard to chase after the barmaid. Wanting to look for the antiquarian. Does this Paloon have excitement? This Paloon doesn't have excitement, so ooh, manages to cut the corner right there. Very nicely done. This seems like it will be an insolence fast pallet breaking detention for the Paloon. That's a second spike right there immediately, but it doesn't matter because the antiquarian will be jumping out there right away. 
way. Now then, using the spin-off right there, this does not land, sadly. Andy Curry should be able to put down the pallet right here. Immediately breaks down that pallet. Sadly, Palu can't really throw his traps here because it does not go... It's not high enough. The walls, the well, the roof above isn't high enough. And... Andy Curran should be able to not land the spike, but just barely, barely. Apollo trying to bait out the swings as much as possible right now. We're mind gaming each other right now as much as possible. But sadly, that is only once one one swing. The second one should be coming out soon. But Paulin can't blink out here. Blinking out here would be the most fatal mistake that he can make right here. At least manage it. Can we blink? No, no, we have to blink now. We can't blink. Okay, fly will come out. That's fine. Blinking out there has to be yeah, blink has to be done. Blink has to be done there. Most open area, you gotta blink there. You gotta blink there. It, if he didn't blink on the trap right there, and then if anti Korean somehow manages to flywheel and then immediately, immediately uh, disarm you, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. But at least Palu managed to clutch that one, thankfully. Now then, it seems like Mumu will be spawning side basement. But three ciphers are done now, so at least we can see Palu going in to look for the mercenary. Hopefully, he'll be able to land at least one spike as long as he doesn't really get stuck right here. But it seems like losing the Tinnitus right now. Palu. Uh, little does he know the mercy is actually currently nearby getting stuck near that location just a little bit But it seems like the pollen will be forcing himself down near towards the chair right now But mercy is already near the chair due to the elbow pad getting the hit right there immediately on the antiquarian Sadly, it's not a full presence pollen. We can snap here though. We can snap here though Snap phase 2 has been opened. Okay, very nice choice. Very 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 nice choice right there Uh, anti current can be seen thankfully. Anti current can be seen thankfully. Pauline probably wouldn't be looking for anymore Pauline probably wouldn't be looking for anymore. Now then spawning in between the pallets right here Doesn't seem like mercenary is deciding to come in anymore. We're missing two and uh, two fifty percent ciphers We're just missing two fifty percent ciphers. So this is up to Pauline to run out and look for survivors now It's really up to him. Maybe up to, maybe running straight towards middle might not be such a bad choice but Paulin it seems like Miko GW wants to go straight towards this cypher right here near the acrobat which is at that one pallet one window well one pallet double window area it seems like the mercenary is also nearby landing that spike on the mercenary very very nicely done this should be oh no oh no oh no that's body blocked wait did we was that not a max presence Paulin oh that was not a max presence Paulin no Oh no, that wasn't a max presence Paulun. Ah, uh, it's, it's not, it's, no, no, he's not gonna be able, he's not gonna be able to land any more spikes here. Uh, there's a chance for Paulun, but Paulun can't, Paulun can't ridicule, Paulun can't ridicule this. Uh, okay, managed to open. Needs to be very careful right here, the flywheel has not been baited out. The, 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 the flywheel, they come out though, no, this is a detention. This is a detention pollen, but it hurts so much. Disarm by one, disarm by two, disarm by three. That's an immediate 12 second right there. Those three disarms has been done so fast. We're immediately running into the basement. I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm gone. But this pollen doesn't have... Uh, this pollen doesn't have trump card for immediately teleporting towards the early gate, sadly. Ah, that is so unfortunate. He was... He was... He was that close. That close to opening phase two. Or it's mercenary definitely wouldn't be able to fail the rescue right here. That is so unlucky. But let's congratulate Free for gaining their advantage right now. Moving on towards second half. Okay then, second half we go first four bands, the normal four bands for every sleeping town, except for the fact that mech is a thing. Mech is a band now, thank god mech has been banned, oh my lord, mech is so annoying to deal with. But it seems like Wilmy also knows this as well considering the fact that, uh, considering the fact that 2e survivor from last round really did up the notch with the fast decoding team comp and then... Yeah, but it seems like we'll be banning box artists from survivor side, we'll be seeing a seer... Seer, anti current first officer, and a melee, and then, then Tomon just coming out from Tui's side, and then free will me. It's really gonna like this against this team coming general Bonbon once again. I'm just gonna keep spending Bonbon. Bonbon will at least guarantee you the tie here, unless unless they actually do manage to outcut you. But that shouldn't really happen when you're playing Bonbon, and if you're like around the same. This is the Seer have pink hair. Am I seeing Seer with pink hair right there? I think I saw Seer with pink hair. I think that's something that I want to see her with pink hair. It reminds me of AK for some reason. And Iron. I think Iron had AK, uh, pink hair before and Iron does make seer. But let's see, from Wulmi, Bonbon will be coming out. Of course, you'll have to run this one out with Bonbon. Or else, or else what can you do? You, you can chase after anyone as Bonbon except for Frostaster here, of course. Definitely don't run Clerk. Hey, Nayid? Oh? Oh? Wait, wait, wait. This is a Nayid? 
No, 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 no. You're not joking, right? Night is against this team called Bomb. Bum 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 bum. Okay, bum bum. Ah, that a bum 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 bum. Okay, bum bum. Okay, it's a bum bum. Okay, it's a bum bum. Thank Lord, it's a bum bum. Okay, 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 okay. Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Um, this team got me. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Wherever they spawn, they need like they could decide to spawn at all four corners if they want to. But the safest place is one in one near detached, one near balcony, and the other two wherever they want to be. To be honest with you, uh, Bonbon spawning by graveyard entrance near the double pallet window right there, near the double pallet window cipher, I guess. Near the double pallet window cipher, uh. Seer should be able to rotate into balcony. At least that's a good sign for Seer. He should be able to contain there for at least 30 seconds before he needs to rotate away from that area. So it should be 30 seconds wasted for the Bonbon at least. First officer spawning in middle, melee spawning near detached house. I highly doubt that Bonbon will be chasing after melee first though, considering that there's a Seer out there who's most likely a better chase. Mm, Bonbons in general, do, what Bonbon in general does is they land one bomb and then immediate hit and then the next thing is if the seer comes out with an owl the remote control bomb would be ready as well. So chasing after, not chasing after seer is kind of just like the, uh, it's kind of just like throwing away the whole game in all honesty. But moving on to the game we go, this is game 2, second half of 2 e versus 3, I'm your commentator, Kuroshiro. Okay, we we on to second half we go. Let's see. Sears uh, Sears spawns upstairs. Aha, he okay, he spawns upstairs. Fair. He spawns he spawns upstairs. That's very fair. That's very, very, very fair. Ah, uh, sorry for the Oh my god, they're screaming outside. Uh but wanting to bait out the steer in coming down, but it seems like Wilmy is playing with himself right now instead here. Having four bombs stacked, we see that Fulan is near the detached house along with entomologist. Entomologist beast has been revealed, but it seems like Jun Qing will be bringing back the beast towards herself right now. Pallet here has been placed there, destroying the pallet here immediately. It's probably probably will be rotating away from this area. It's a little bit dangerous for psychologists, not for psychologists, for entomologists to say in this vicinity if you do decide to if you do want to force it uh, that's still not a good sign for Bamon though but first officer just decodes faster now that's still not a good sign for Bamon though first officer genuinely just decodes faster now so even if that stopwatch should come out he's deco he's gonna decode seven percent faster He's gonna decode seven percent faster. There's there's like four ciphers as we can see that has been touched. Tree that is slowly going up right now, and entomologist creating such. Yeah, entomologist is just cutting corners so darn tight right now. Bombman can't do anything. Taking the bees back. The bees has not been taken back. Sadly, bees has been destroyed by one bomb on one hit right here, which is why, as we have been saying as well, bombman counters and all quite hard quite darn hard that's gonna be a two second bomb right here uh five second bomb instead no baiting down this entomologist thankfully but this should be a chip flywheels out immediately very nicely done by the entomologist but sadly we'll be taking a chip right here regardless of what happens the biggest problem for enter right here is she needs to get out of this vicinity asap and there is the owl oh there's the owl that is a beautiful owl that is a beautiful owl oh my lord oh my lord <laughs> That's a great owl. Um, there goes an demonologist, I guess. Down she goes. Well, at least four and a half like four four ciphers are done. Listen, four ciphers are done. Four ciphers are done. And if first officer comes in for the rescue again, then that simply just means first officer can use stopwatch, and then he doesn't. Ha he has like fourteen percent decoding buff out of his 20% decoding debuff so he's only 6% decoding debuff so he, he, he contains pretty darn fast but if that will actually came out properly then this entomologist definitely would have been able to cut until four and a half ciphers but for me you know, to me for this game it does seem like oh sadly didn't get the third chain bomb down right there it does seem like this will be a four man end game at least for Tui. Mm, gets the hit right there waiting for that bomb to go but first officer to get the chip right there getting a no damage well it's not really considered a no damage rescue having still a chip right there on first officer really does hurt the first officer a lot he can't come in to rescue anymore so this means that uh anti-current has to come in the good thing about like i i i, I will just keep emphasizing this anti current one sweep red carpet are gone so bomb has to be very tactical in how he places his bombs not close too close and not too far away from the chair 
or else it really wouldn't work. We can also see that the last two ciphers are 78% and 61%. This is going really darn fast. This is going really, really, really darn fast. So, yeah. Yeah, we see, like, you see we're in total, not too far away from the cipher and also not too close towards the cipher. And also, with the fact that they have enough time to run in towards the cipher, it should be able to vault over here. Ooh, that's a very nice dodge. Uh, that's one chip, but the cipher is prime, so that isn't too bad. Flywheel's immediately right here, very nicely done by Andy Kerwin. Uh, one spam, one another spam! Movie, push him out towards Tram, push him out towards Tram. Ah, that's a bit of an unfortunate situation right there. Immediately popping here, uh, not wanting the bomb on to stall out teleport time, which does make sense. So we do see that Sears Owl is currently at 45% at least. Putting down the pallet right there simply just means that Entomologist has to take four chips right here. That's one chip here, should be able to vault over that immediately. Not Having blink right here, it's quite of a sad moment for D. Um, bon bon, but uh, the way wait, there's dungeon. Ah, uh, no, ah, uh, no, this is outrageous. No, 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 this is this is genuinely out this is outrageous. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, okay, 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 thank lord. Th th it was about to be very outrageous. Okay, okay, if he got the dungeon there, that's that's nah, 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 nah. But let's congratulate for the tie for round two, then moving on to round three.